this the universe on this show is so much different than AEW. Okay, this part of this next example I'm going to give you show you right here. Uh, Jimmy Uso uh, is at the gorilla position and he's cutting a promo before his match. He's all fired up. He goes out there and nine minutes and thirty five seconds, and he so. Ziggler went for a Famouser. Uso stuffed it, and Ziggler rolled Uso into pin for two count. When they stood up, Uso super kicked Ziggler and pinned him one, two, three. Like the you know, like you see in the other show of like eighty super kicks, and this was a super kick and a finish, <laughs> which shows you like the difference in philosophy on this show. And like they're trying to make the show look completely different than AEW. You know, it's the 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 super kicks in in WWE uh, are stronger than the AEW. Super I, I just I laughed at, at just as you were saying that because I have the, the the dark elevation thing playing in the background. These two people were going super kick back and forth, just taking it from not selling it. As you were saying that, they're tougher playing. in WWE. I'm going to say that that way it gets heat. So next, uh, so Jimmy's all fired up. He goes to Paul. Um, and basically thinks he's going to go out there for the, uh, what do they call in this segment? The, um, uh, where Roman's going to come out. What was he going to, what did, what, this is, I forgot what they called this. Um, when Roman came what, out after he won. Oh, the state of the universal championship address. Okay. So Roman comes out and he tells Jimmy, so kind of punks Jimmy here because Jimmy wanted to come out with him. And he makes him stay in the back. Uh, so they come in the ring, um, Heyman said the Fiend got frightened, Braun Strowman got slaughtered, Kevin Owens got KO'd, and Edge, Edge and Daniel Bryan got pinned, emasculated, neutered, and humiliated at WrestleMania. He said Bryan came back and got shipped right the hell back out. Heyman said the Mysterios were shipped to hell. Heyman said Reigns has wiped out the entire vision in less, division in less than a year, and he said that Reigns needed to change course would do something that's never been done on network television before. Heyman said Reigns would align viewers because they have no other choices. There's no one left. Heyman slipped the mic to Reigns, but he was interrupted. Edge made his entrance, and Reigns acted shocked. And Reigns tried to help Edge from tried to stop Edge from entering the ring, but Edge clotheslined him over the top rope and then roughed him up at ringside before sending him inside the ring. Reigns blasted Edge with the Superman punch. Reigns went to ringside and grabbed a chair and returned to the ring with it. Edge speared Reigns before he could use a chair, and Edge placed Reigns' head over the chair and then grabbed another chair from ringside. Jimmy Uso came out and knocked Edge off the apron and threw repeated punches at Edge on the floor, but Edge ended up whipping him into the ring steps. And Edge speared Jimmy through the ringside barricade, and Edge stood up and rolled inside the ring, and Reigns and Heyman were on the stage. Edge looked into the camera and asked, Where are you at, Roman? Where are you at? You want me? I'm right here. This is actually a good, surprising ending and a good, good spot. You know, and he what gave him a is- real good <laughs> whooping. You know, he yeah. looked good when he was banging his head against the desk over and over and over. Looked really yeah. good and throwing the guy against the stairs and then tense look. Just he doesn't look that physically imposing to me. He looks very like thin. Old. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he gave, he gave a pretty good beat down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there, I any- but, but yeah. here's my thing. How do you explain that you came back when the guy beat another guy with you at the same time and put him on top of you? Yeah. Because he said he never got his singles match, which is like, you know, I, yeah. mean, I guess he can make some, you know. The, yeah. the rumors are that they're going to uh, main event SummerSlam with Reigns and Cena. So uh, I'd imagine Roman and Edge will be at this TLC show. But from now to SummerSlam, it's, there's only two months. There's less than two months. That seems like a little, like not enough time for a Roman Edge storyline, but. I guess it depends on if Cena can come back or not. Uh, so that was SmackDown, decent show, nothing super special. Because I, I would have, I want Jimmy, I want Jey Uso to come back. But that's the, what I'm interested. It, it, but but one thing you can say, I don't think there was anything bad on the show. No, I was mm-hmm. real, I was real happy with it. I was I was actually watching and, and interested and all that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah funny that you that because I was fast forwarding Raw and like. I was eating and I wanted to pause it so badly because I want to watch something, but nothing made me want to stop. Like <laughs> it's just two totally different shows. Yeah, Joe, yeah. get get Google ready. This is gonna Not be even Lily. <laughs> Joe, so get this, Google this ready. This angle, this uh-huh. Roman angle on its own, is good by like regular episodic TV standards, not just yeah, by wrestling. Right. Standards. Totally, it's like yeah, you yeah, could yeah. just take this angle and piece it together, and it would be a good television show yeah. on its yeah. own. So what's the end um, yeah. for you? Like for me, it's I want I want them to all join as one like faction, or yeah, you, oh yeah. that's what I want to see at the end. I don't know what if it's, it's going to be that him leaving him leaving Roman or something, and the Usos tag team again or something, and their their baby faces while Roman stays. I'll tell you, you know what a match I think would do. Would do I, let me tell you something. This this to me is what I think <clears throat> could could do some like if you took all your stars right and then just align the stars. I think this could do business, right? 
is the Usos and Roman together, okay, against Brock, Edge, and um, and Cena. Be a big match. Like the the, the new guys, the new head of the the, the new guys that are running the show, and like the the other guys that were like the top guys before these guys became the top guys. You know what I'm saying? And dude, like make them like that that faction we've been talking about all along. Just the, the Samoan, the three of them together, bro. They look yeah. badass. You know, mm-hmm. you know. I, I, I think yeah. I think that I think you could do tons of stuff with that if you took Edge and Cena and you know and uh, and who the hell else I say? You said Brock. Brock. But what about what about Orton? And he's on the other show. He's not wrong. I mean, that's like. Can... No, no, I understand. I don't know. That's that's that, that, what about? Uh, I'm just thinking out. Uh, I'm thinking out loud. A, Disco. Know? What about uh, Roman versus Jay versus Jimmy in a three way match? No. 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 Nobody wants to see that. It's like when you see the I Serena do. Williams against Venus Williams. Nobody wants to watch it. <laughs> you know they, they don't do good. They, seriously, they don't do good numbers when they they play each other.